Robert Downey Jr. reveals in this absolutely insane story some of the terrible things that he has had to experience in Hollywood. And as someone who has basically grown up in the Hollywood system, we all know that he has seen some pretty terrible and messed up stuff. And this is, of course, something that we've seen a lot of actors talk about recently and open up about. And Robert Downey Jr. is here to also give his experiences and to talk about some of the terrible things that he has had to deal with. So Robert Downey Jr. opens up about the worst thing that happened to him. And of course, we all know that Robert Downey Jr. has had his own share of different backlash coming from the cancel culture outrage mob over the past couple of years, especially when it comes to some of the roles that he has done and some of the things that he has said. But all that aside, Robert Downey Jr., of course, has to talk about something today that's even more sinister than some of the backlash that he has received from things like that. So today he talks about how evil, how he can feel the evil in the air. This is a very heavy story, so let's get into this and see what Robert Downey Jr. has to say. Robert Downey Jr. opened up about what he called the worst thing that ever happened to him, and that was the year he spent behind bars in 1999 in connection with a DUI arrest while in possession of a certain drug that uh, starts with a, a C. During the 58-year-old actor's appearance on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, the Iron Man star talked about his former substance abuse issues and being over-sentenced by an angry judge who sent him to North Kern State Prison in Delano, California. It came after the star failed to appear at several court-ordered drug tests tied to the drug possession charge. Two weeks later, I'm in a place called Delano, which is a receiving center where they decide where you're going to go. Arguably the most dangerous place I've ever been in my life because nobody is designated. If they're a level one, two, three, or four criminal, everyone is there. You can just feel the evil in the air. And and then it gets even more crazy with this whole story, okay? So it was kind of like just being in a really bad neighborhood, and there was no opportunity there. There were only threats. So yes, everyone is going to take your wallet, so watch it. Walking onto the yard that you're going to be doing more than a year on for the first time, the closest thing I can associate to it is being sent to a distant planet where there is no way home until the planets align. The Marvel star also explained how he survived the experience. We are programmed to, within a short amount of time, be able to adjust to things that are seemingly impossible. And for me, there's worse things that could have happened than being sent to an institution for sure. However, we can only go by what we know. And I would imagine if I had to guess, that was the worst thing that ever happened to me. And of course, since then, Robert Downey Jr. has had a, a very interesting career in Hollywood. Before that, of course, he was very much more of a, uh, you know, a, a certain type of individual who liked to party and get into all sorts of crazy stuff. And since then, he has completely sobered up. He completely changed his career around. So to be completely honest, this might have been the worst thing that ever happened to him, but it's probably one of the best things that ever happened to him too, because it gave him that chance to turn his life around. And I think a lot of people have actually forgotten about this story as well. This story where it shows that Robert Downey Jr. actually had a very unique relationship with Mel Gibson. Gibson, of all people, someone who have, we have seen recently who is trying to expose a lot of the horrific stuff that is going on in Hollywood. So this whole video was absolutely insane. Actually, I asked Mel to present uh, this award to me for a reason, because when I couldn't get sober, he told me not to give up hope and he urged me to find my faith and I couldn't get hired. So he cast me in the lead of a movie that was actually developed for him. All he asked in return was that uh, someday I help the next guy in some small way. Uh, it's reasonable to assume that at the time he didn't imagine the next guy would be him. <laughs> I humbly ask that you join me unless you are completely without sin, in which case you picked the wrong industry. <laughs> <laughs> in forgiving my friend his trespasses, offering him the same clean slate you have me, and allowing him to continue his great and ongoing contribution to our collective art without shame. What an absolutely Chad moment coming from Robert Downey Jr. here. I, I, I love this video, and I love the fact that Robert Downey Jr. actually stood up for Mel Gibson in this way. It's actually pretty incredible. So, with all that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about what Robert Downey Jr. is saying here? Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.